Hello, this is Taxi and in this video I will show you some tips on how to set up your um, Slipstream Mod Manager to better help you to mod, to speed up your workflow. As you probably know, this window is like Slipstream window. This will show, I mean, in this box you can see your .ftl files that are inside the mods folder. That is this one. You can open, of course, the mods folder from this button. And see, my mod folder contains like also some .zip files. Now, an FTL, I mean a .ftl file is just a renamed .zip file. So, it, I mean, if this thing can open FTL files, it should be able, able to open .zip files as well. And in fact, it does. If you go in File and Preferences, you can check up this box and click Apply. And now, if you rescan your mods folder, these files will be treated as FTL files, and this is great. This is so great because you, uh, I mean, instead of always having to change the extension back and forth, you can just put it, I mean, compress a folder, and it will work. It's, it's great. It's just great. Also, another cool thing is if you want to, I don't know, uh, if you mess up your, 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 co your folder somehow, you can just uh, open the zip again without having to change the FTL extension, of, of course. I mean, you could do that anyway, but you know, it's faster, it's much faster, it's much better, in my opinion. Another thing I don't really like is the, the, the fact that when you uh, patch the game, the, the application will ask you to run FTL. Okay, that's cool. The problem is it will close when it does that. I mean, see, why why would it close? I mean, I mean, it's okay that it closes because, uh, you know, if you're not a modder, you don't give a shit. Like, okay, I patched it and, okay, the job is done. But no, you are a modder. You want to patch things continuously, all the time. I mean, if you find an error in game, you could just have to open it again and, you know, it's a, a pain in the ass. If you go in preferences again, it won't even ask you, I mean, and, and, and check this never run FTL thing, when you patch something, it will never ask you to open FTL again, and you will have to do so manually. And, I don't know, I find it much uh, more, I don't know, I'm more comfortable with this option. But, yeah. Another vital part of modding with this program is validating your files. When you validate a file, basically, the, this program checks for errors inside of it. And the, the, your goal should be always to end up with no problems, because, you know, no problems are good, you know? So, I've made a file, I mean, I will make a, a mod with an error inside. So, let's see. Now, let's scan the mods again. And this looks like rather, how do you say, harmless. But if you validate it, BAM! A lot of shit comes out. Oh no, what is this stuff? Error on line 104. The element type system list must be terminated by the matching tag system list. And engines. Okay, this stuff happened in this document. Data, the uh, blueprints, etc., etc. So, I mean, and the stuff that comes after is usually uh, caused by the topmost error, but not, not always, so be careful. Let's see, so let's go on line 104 and try to fix that thing. 104, but wait engines this is the engine this is the error see like uh, with i mean this program shows you when uh an element is closed like if you if see if i if i select uh, i don't know mad bay it underlines mid the mad bay i mean the next mad bay but if i do it on engines it doesn't work why because i put this thing here and so i delete it and boom this stuff happens so let's save and then go here and compress it again. Now, if you validate it again, boom, no problems, and you can just patch and it will work. Great. Now, there is still the chance that uh, even if there are no problems, your file might crash. Why should this happen? I mean, why, why this happens? I mean, it should usually happen if you uh, make weird event shit, like if you maybe uh, loop an event on itself or end up with a loop of events. Like, uh, this thing won't give problems, but, like, it, the game doesn't, I mean, because the, maybe the code is formatted correctly, but you, I mean, the game doesn't allow uh, looping events, so, yeah, you've got to be careful. But, yeah, this is, I mean, 
most of the time this thing is just great for checking for problems. And I'll tell you more. Like, you can use this uh, validating thing at your uh, advantage if you are maybe making a very long uh, file or, I don't know, mod. How to do that? You basically, uh, let's see, if let's say you're doing like a lot of shapes and, I don't know, you are maybe uh, make a, a, no, a sketch, how do you say that? Like, an uh, unfinished thing, uh, you want to come up later but you don't remember things. What do you do? You make a comment like this and then put, I don't know, two uh, hyphens adjacent to each other, how do you say that? Like this, basically. And what happens next? If you compress the file now and uh, try to validate it, it will say, yo, in blueprints.xml there are two uh, dashes that touch. But this thing means that there are two dashes or hyphens that touch that are not in these or these blocks of text. And in fact, that's exactly what I did. I did this block, this block, and also this block. And this thing uh, basically causes this error. I mean, even if I did uh, something like this, it will cause the error, because basically these two uh, hyphens are touching, and the game doesn't want that. Oh, well, the Slipstream Mod Manager doesn't want that. But, and you so have to fix this thing. But if you don't fix it, you can just, uh, I mean, I don't know, if you are patching something, you can like, uh, rem I mean, you can remember that you have to go look in inside this file because there is this error. So, I don't know, you can do edits on this thing and then like uh, delete it and save it again. Whoops, no, sorry, not now. And uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, pretty great. I, I, found, I found that this thing is pretty much u useful when making like very large mods that you have to keep track of everything you want to do and I don't know, maybe you are doing one thing and then you do something else and you have to come back to that thing. It's, it's okay. But yes, these are basically the tips the, uh, that I wanted to show you. I will have to do a tutorial on how to use this useful thing because this, this lets you edit events or like whatever without having to rewrite I mean, or write the whole thing. So, like with a few lines, you can just change the name instead of like re repasting the whole uh, ship blueprints or uh, events or whatever. But uh, yeah, this will be for another time. Maybe I will uh, make a button appear here to to link to that thing in the future. But yes, that's it.